Hey guys, uh, we come back again to our modular project and this time we will build some more of our uh, modular system as uh, the system that you have already made you already made uh, basically work perfectly for the live uh, electronic using real-time manipulation uh, using your microphone so you can create a lot of interesting uh, sound composition with this one and this time uh, we want to add uh, more function which is I believe is very useful and very powerful at the same time which is uh, using uh, recorded sound the recorded sound can be done uh, on the spot during your live performance and so the system will be built based on that uh, context so you can easily record any sound on the spot and then uh, process that sound manipulate the sound to achieve the desired construction of sound that is uh, in your planning okay for that uh, I will in the next video I will explain to you the step by step but at this time I want to show you what this uh, what this recording and playback sound can add function to your uh, system so I already make the object that you can um, just recall the object this object uh, I call it sec play you can name any name uh, sec play one okay there you go so this is already uh, complete complete uh, module that fully function so for example uh, let's use this to open a pre-recorded sound this this sound is actually uh, the sound of water dripping water there so I recorded the uh, dripping water uh, that uh, fall on a packet so it created a popping sound very nice one so let's listen to this uh, popping sound of water So yeah, that's the very familiar sound, right? <laughs> okay, now um, I, I like this uh, particular sound material because uh, as you can see the the structure of it, yeah. Uh, it started with ten sound here, and then more scarce sound. So it it has a uh, interesting rhythm. Can you see interesting rhythm so from the look itself 
the rhythm is meaningful, right? Do you notice that? And then do you notice the the increase of loudness volume? So it um it is actually a drama in itself. So it's it's a movement. So what you want from a sound is actually and that can really uh, convey a sense of movement sense of energy so that is why uh, th that is the way you analyze sound you want something that is uh, potentially uh, interesting for your project okay so let, let's just play uh, a little bit more with this uh, basic material So this time I want to play this sound and then s uh, send this sound to this uh, granular system that we have made before. So in this system we can uh, choose this. It was I was playing with uh, without granular system, so it was bypassing directly to DAC. If I click here, it says granular. So it will be sent here. Let's explain this. the spatialization and also the delay
as you can see you can create uh, so many uh, different texture out of uh, one material and tons of possibilities basically um, so you do not need to have like too much materials um, but sometimes uh, you want to introduce second material but you want to keep the first material so what you can do is you create another uh, module like this you just need to uh, make different abstraction abstraction uh, sex play two there so this is um, basically yeah you can get as many as you need but you do not need too many otherwise it won't be too meaningful one or two should be enough okay uh, so and then uh, when you create new module you need to turn on the DSP off and on again to to activate this one so this time uh, maybe you want to create a second material for your project and then you can uh, I don't know uh, many I don't know what what sound is this but let's just try to listen to it oh yeah it's a sound of a lovely door okay so there you go so for example I want to focus only on this uh, sound there beautiful because it has pitch right so you can move the slider just right before and then where it ends okay. but you want to play it very very slowly okay there's like wailing sound okay and then you want to send it also to the spectrum analyzer oh no oh, to the yeah you you can you can analyze the sound for example send to the spectrum analyzer okay there you go if you check the sound it's pretty rich there come on buddy there and then click here so once you click this button it will be sent to the uh, the, the the information here the data will be sent to the modules the 10 or the 9 modules here okay so this is the function of this button okay you you check here if the if the composition is good enough then you can choose to send it here okay now you can use the same data yeah to manipulate this sound right and uh, just change this uh, you, you can add a button in your new uh, in the uh, module this is basically take the sound from the microphone this one take the sound from this uh, from this playback sound okay let's see how sound Pretty cool, huh? It's transpose, lower sound. That rumbling sound. So put the windowing to minimum you can create a nice effect
so this little slider can be used to direct the play head to certain position that you want to play for example there head play exactly in the place where you click this little green uh, indicator right so when it play backward so it will start from this button uh, uh, from the below indicator but when it play forward it will start from this right indicator okay so what if you want to mix this with um, new material from your microphone yeah you can do this by you can just play this yeah uh, like this and then uh, for example just just set this uh, recording sorry recording this is a uh, there are two option here record to file means you store the audio in the file that you can choose here yeah for example here uh, you can rename this uh, for example in this is a rename button so you can say uh, let's say sound one okay and then you click enter yeah, it will change the name right away okay and then it ready for you to record a new sound so let's and but you need to choose first from which mic you want to record this one from mic one this one for mic two this is for stereo stereo system but uh, we, we will use only a mono file form for this manipulation you do not need stereo it's a uh, heavier okay let's use the microphone one and then you just need to click record uh, by default this one set to one minute uh, 60 millisecond and you can uh, turn on turn off anytime but if you want to make it shorter and auto auto off you can uh, you can specify for example I want to make only uh, five second means 5000 millisecond so then you can just click right so this is standby you can see the display also show the steps this is optional but uh, if you like something fancy user friendly yeah you can do that okay and then you click record and then you can see the recording indicator will appear just make sure that your DAC is on and record check mic check mic this is an experimentation Okay, so it is already recorded in this sound one. Yeah, sound one you can find once you make like that, you can find in your folder uh, where the sound one is. Uh, it is the same folder in that folder that you keep your uh, keep your keep your project, right? So it should be somewhere here. Sound one. Okay, that's the one. Sound one. WAV. This is a file you can play anywhere else, but this time I want to load here. This is you need to load in this uh, array to be able to play. So you just click load. That's the one. Let's check if it is the right file. Set the start over there. This is an x mic this is an x check mic check mic this is an x yeah that is the the file uh if you do not really satisfied with this one you can replace right away by writing 
your sound uh, right directly to the array by choosing this rec to array yeah then click to record no this is not an uh, experimentation this is real okay so let's check it now oh this is not an uh, experimentation this is no this is not an uh, experimentation okay this is, no this is not so it replace the information the data in the uh, array but it won't replace the file so array is basically temporary you can mix many different uh, sound in one array uh, for your composition if your array quite long enough so you can make a very interesting combination of sound in one array again uh, that won't be won't be saved so if you want to save and use in the future you should save in the uh, rec to file over here you can choose here the third one is still uh, empty so you can fill it just for the sake of balancing left and right and then this button you can use for uh, to send the sound this is bypass so directly to DAC this one sent to the granular just like a while ago what we did uh, this one sent to the reverberation without going to granular first okay uh, the difference between bypass and reverb bypass basically directly to DAC without reverberation okay so sometimes uh, in the one file you want to go directly bypass without reverberation another file you want to send to the reverberation another file you want to send to the granularization you can choose from uh, this uh, horizon uh, vertical radio okay so you know the function of load and open and this one is basically for the uh, volume which only control the bypass and the uh, reverberation not for the granularization because granularization has its own uh, its own you know normalization so you can control from here and then this is the panning uh, left and right uh, I would to like to remind you that the function of pan left and right the spatialization is only effective when you use dry here in the in the reverberation to, to make a real uh, effect of left and right because when you use wet uh, the left and right is already somehow mixed so you don't really notice the way sound really distinct from left distinct from right uh, all sound is there in left and right if you use a uh, wet reverberation okay so that is the difference you can uh, experiment thing with with that one okay so and then of course this one this one is a uh, very handy how to control your uh, playback uh, there are three buttons here Don't see load. this is basically playing uh, i will just turn the volume down here so okay playing backward look at that this is minus one this one playing forward this one this one is stop the file in between that you can play yeah just click directly on the uh, play bar yeah later on don't forget to set the this slider to click a uh, jump on click yeah otherwise it won't be able to jump like this okay so yeah or you can specify this very uh, this uh, the uh, exact speed for example minus 0 0.3 right there especially when you put everything into your uh, sequencer you want to have a uh, exact playing speed whether it is uh, backward or forward so you can set everything connected to this uh, number and the current speed will be displayed here I'll show you later how to make this so that's uh, pretty much it uh, Alright, so in the next video we will uh, we will I will explain how to make this module. Which actually this is a very complex module. Just I put everything in one uh, one module. 
which is uh, for example the, first of all the display yeah the display we will put the display first yeah and then once everything is there and then the functionality let's start with uh, start with a uh, playback yeah okay oh no 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 before playback we will use the preset naming yeah preset naming so and then after that preset we can continue with the playback module yeah of course this is playback and yeah open open file yeah and then the next one will be dedicated for recording So that's pretty much it. So display, preset naming, playback, and uh, recording. So those are for uh, for video that I will explain in the next uh, coming videos. So stay tuned.